feature uh, jazz improvisation and we're going to do technique. So I'm going to start uh, showing you some exercises you can do to warm up uh, technically. So I've been having uh, getting questions on how you know you can heal your hands and stuff like that, play fast. Yeah. So the first exercise I would do is uh, just be aware of your hands and when you sit so you have a straight back. So you see me here, I have a straight back. I don't sit like a soldier like this, but I have a flexible back. So you should sit without having a support because if you have a support, you can slouch. So that's not ideal. You should feel that you're free here. Great. And uh, so what you do then is uh, you can place your hands here, feel I have weight on your hands and then they come down. Just pick any white keys and then you go up and down so you relax the wrists like this. And then you can start playing one tone at a hand time just with weight. This is a weight exercise. And then you go down. And then you can start doing this in the scale moment. this movement happening when you're playing because that relaxes. So first we did just this relaxation but it's the same thing. So when you play a scale. Mm -hmm. So that's a good exercise. Uh, and then uh, what you can do is you can start playing scales. I like scales with some uh, uh, dark notes like this one. This is the whole tone scale and it's good for practicing coming up like this. So I call it the cat, it's like a cat coming up. And you can use this to come up on each finger so you have a grasp of each tone. So this is a good exercise for grasping the keys. Another key I like is D major, you have the here, you have a good hand position. And to practice when you play scales, you want to have this position going. So when you go, so you don't go and all this wiggling because then you play out of time and it won't be homogeneous. So way to practice as is. on your phones uh, for free so I have one here called metronome and then I can write a tempo here so I can tap tempo I want like da 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 one two three three so I picked out 101 beats per minute and then I can go maybe a bit slower volume. So I can actually write the tempo here. I would start with 80 maybe and then a good way to go is like Triplets as well. 
Because we're going to have that in salsa, and we can go one and two, and just to get down into the keys. Same here. So now we're going to go into improvisation and jazz. So uh, I think the, what's important in jazz is having a groove and making it swing. And swing is based on triplets. So if you want to uh, have an understanding of that, you can put it on the metronome, put it on two, uh, three beats per minute, per beat, and then start playing. One and uh, two and uh, three. In the swing, you play on beat one and two, uh, three. So you've got to play uh, um, uh, one and two and three and four. And so it's a bit so fast, it's going to be a da da da. One and da two and da three and da four and da one and da two and da three. If we do it a bit slower, it's going to be more standard. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Hmm? And then when you take up the tempos, you have one and two and three and four instead of just straight. So straight would be straight would be like hmm, it would be like one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Whereas a triplet would be, it's going to be a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, a difference here between straight and swing. Okay, so now we're going to do some improvisation and we're going to use three chords. We're going to use F7, B5, 
flat seven, sorry, and C seven, and then F. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is simplify it in left hand. Instead of just playing the entire chord, we're just going to play seven and third, and then going to seven and third, and then going to seven and third, and then here. We can also put it up a bit to make it easy to sound more clear. F7, B flat 7, C7, B flat 7, F7. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the blue scale looks like this. F, A flat, B flat, C flat, C, E flat, F. That's the blue scale. So we're going to uh, work with small licks. It could be like... Yeah. So we're going to do that uh, and repeat them. So we're going to put on the uh, backing here with the tape and play. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to have a count in. One, two. One, two, three, and... And combine those two. So we'll see where we end up. Two, one, two, three, four. and improvisation easy with just small legs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then we can try to do it so we have uh, several legs. We can work with four legs over the blues. So then it's going to sound like this. Two, one, two, three, four. Then you can start playing like more old style blues where you have the tonic here and then so you play the tonic here like a pedal and then you go down the blues scale and then Mm -hmm. 
So let's try those with a, a comping clack. Two, one, two, three, four. with small licks like that. Mm. Uh, and then if you want to comp as well for blues, uh, you can use the guide tones here and then you can add 9, 13 and 9. And then you can start working with this rhythm. Two. Sounds good. And then when for B flat 7, you do the same thing. You have guide tones, and then this becomes 13 and 9. And then back to F. And then for C, 13 is 13 here, 9. And then you go down, and then that way. Yes. So that's the way. So let's check it out with a, a comping. So just to explain, F7 is here, 7, 9, 11, 13. So we don't play chords like this, we play them more simplified. 9, 13, and add the 9 here to get a punchy octave here. Same for B flat 7, 9, 11, 13, and we go. Lay it down, we have it this way, and then C7, 39, or if we lay it down, so we have the movement then C and B flat to F. Hmm? So this is F939, this is B flat. 13, 9, 13. This is C flat, C7, 13, 9, 13. And then B flat and F. So let's check that out and see how that goes. So B flat. basic for comping and uh, what you can do when you comp yourself you play the left hand here this way if you want to add more punch to it you can play it like this play the 7 here and 13 and then B flat 7 here 3 7 9 and then C7 3 7 9 So we can just uh, check that out once, see uh, where we end up with that left hand comp. So. Yeah, let's fix it again. Two, one, two, F13, B flat nine, F13. this with what we just did to get a more jazzy voicing and then it's going to look like this 
start improvising and doing your uh, soloing. I'm now gonna uh, show you how you can solo with the blue scale using these simple chords as a demonstration. One, two, I'm gonna play Francing the head.
That was uh, an expanded demonstration of jazz improvisation. But stick to the basic we did uh, first here. I'll show again uh, the very basic F chord, F, B flat, and C, F. And do the small improvisations. So, uh, yeah, so have good luck with this and I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial on jazz conversation and technique. Goodbye for me, this is Adam. Cheers. <laughs>